Hey, hey, Carla. Hey, Jocelyn. How are you? Reven? Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening Good Lea. Hello. Hey, Lea, I, I see in the your background, in the image that you have, you have books. I know, I know it's not your books, but I'm curious. Uh, do you like books? <laughs> do you like to read? I like reading. In my profession, is indispensable to uh, read. Oh, okay. I have, I have a mini, uh, library, uh, library, <laughs> not library, yeah. Um, say? A book stand? Bookshop. No, 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 shop not because it's not shop. No, no, bookshelves. Bookshelves is the line, one line, and okay. uh huh, is like for yes. to have the books. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have many books. Books. Ah. And what kind of books do you like? Uh, in, in, how do you say in su mayoría? The majority? In majority, uh, uh, literatura latinoamericana. Latin American literature. Literature. Uh, mm -hmm. Isabel Allende is my preferred writing. Wow. Escritor. Okay. Overall? Yes. Uh, Isabel Allende. Over huh? Overall. Isabel Allende, yes. Yes, I'm going to put Over. A, I'm going to put into the chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, I I enjoy reading, but I have to be honest. I don't read too many books in Spanish. It's not common to read for me to read books in Spanish. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah, I almost I'm reading in English. In, yes, almost English. Um, almost exclusively. I have, I do have some books. I do have, um, I think we have like two books for Isabel Allende, but um, the majority of our books are in English that we have, or that I have. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The last year and this year, I, I start a buy a English book. Yes, for me and for my children. Ah, okay. That's great. I, I iniciándolos. How do you say iniciándolos? In 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 in, in read English. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I I'm getting. Well, it's actually uh, uh, it's not the same starting, but uh, you can use starting. But it's better. I'm getting them used to. I'm getting them used I, I to. I'm getting them used, used to. to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. In read English. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's great. And the same for all of the members of the class. There are many books online for free. There are many books, many websites where you can read uh, PDF books. You can read online books. You have all different types of books that you can read. Um, if you uh, if you get uh, maybe, for example, um, some apps, they have apps where you have books for free or things like that. So. You know, it's it's a, it's amazing. I I read a lot of books online now because of the pandemic. Is is uh, many bookstores were closed, uh, La Internacional, La Ceiba. So I just read books online, and I know there are many groups in, even in El Salvador, many groups that share books in case you are interested for reading and expanding your vocabulary. And um, what uh, Leah says is is especially true for English. It's necessary to, uh, to read if you want to expand your vocabulary. It's very, very difficult to expand your vocabulary if you don't read. It's, it's much harder, right? Because if you speak and if you talk, of course, you understand. But it's very unusual to use different vocabulary. It's very common to use the same vocabulary. Uh, how was your day? What did you do? What are we doing? What's for dinner? What are we going to have? What are your plans for next weekend? This is the common things, right? But when, if I say, oh, Leah, tell me, what do you think about the SpaceX uh, project of sending the uh, people to Mars? Mm, it's not very common. Right? Or uh, I say, hey, Luis, uh, what are the economic impacts of the, uh, for England leaving the Eurozone? 
Mm, you know, what happened? Hey, Lucia, what do you think about uh, Kenya and the use of the dollarization into their economic society? And you say, oh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And this is different. It has nothing to do with the context. It has to do with the language for that. Because many of us are professionals in different areas. We are professionals in engineering, mechanics, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, Accounting. Thank you. Doctors, I, doctors accountants, uh, Nurse. dentists, nurses, graphic designers, uh, IT specialists. But design. you have to remember that in El Salvador is very different than the education in the other countries. In El Salvador, the pensum is only for your career. But in the other countries, your pensum, only 50% of the pensum is your career. And the other 50% is for all of the other things. For example, if, I, 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 if you are a doctor, just you study medicine, just you study biology and accounting, similar to El Salvador. But you also, as an obligation, you have to study different. You have to study philosophy. You have to study maybe accounting. You have to study, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, cooking or nutrition or because Mad. mathematics. You, the, it's, not, it's not only your career. So... If you have a moment, if you have time, like we were talking a, a, a few minutes ago, try to read, try to read in English mm -hmm. and try to get. Thank you, Pedro. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, and we, we, what we are going to do is we're going to continue with our topic from yesterday. And yesterday, our topic was looking at relative pronouns. If you remember, let's see. Who has the relative pronouns? Um, there, I don't know. Leah, what are you sending for us? Yes, this is a website where, uh, with a read in English, uh, many uh, literature in English. <laughs> ah, okay, a lot of literature. Okay. In el, in el chat, Leah, yes. please. Libros en inglés. No, 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 but she, she, I think Anna says put into the WhatsApp chat, not into this chat. Ah, okay. Yes, yeah, okay. yes, please. I, I, I think that's what Anna was saying because it's, it's in the WhatsApp, okay. it's, it's easier to, to click. Okay. That's right. Okay. All right. Okay, yeah. good. Good, good. I make sure. All right. I know. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our partners. Yep. We're going to make groups and we're going to practice the relative pronouns. OK, um, if you remember from yesterday, uh, the idea of relative pronouns is using who or that. And what is the purpose of who or that is changing from talking about specific. I like pepperoni pizza, I like Pizza Hut, I like uh, cheese pupusas, to talking about general things, okay? So for example, I like pizza in general. I like ice cream. Okay. Uh, sorry, Pedro, what did you say? I, I, I didn't hear you. Uh, uh, sorry, this is my wife uh, talking about this, uh, um, show me some information in, in the internet, <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, I understand. I, I have a wife, I know, I know. <laughs> the wife speak, you are you pay attention, you are quiet. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, okay. uh -huh. yes, of course, yes, yes, no problem. Uh -huh. I yes. understand. <laughs> yeah. But it's a mirror in this moment. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Very smart. Yeah, very smart, because in the, nice. in the moment, in the moment you answer, begin the problem. You don't answer, no problems. Nope, the life is happy. The birds, beep, 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 everything is wonderful. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is with our partners, we're going to try to practice one more time. Yesterday, we had a little bit of difficulty at the end because we still had a little confusion when we use the relative pronouns and the difference between using them for specific and general ideas. So let's, I'm going to give you some examples, okay? I, we're going to start with positive examples because it's easier to understand, okay? Uh, Lucia, 
Uh, do you like music? Yes, I like. Okay, what kind of music do you like? Uh, sometimes pop and sometimes rock. Okay, so that is the idea. I like music that uh, that is pop or is rock. This is different than I like, and then Lucia says the name of the band. I like, and then the same, the group for that she prefers. Okay, that's, di that's different. Okay, so the relative pronouns are used one more time. We use them for general ideas to talk about things as a group or as an object. Okay. And Jocelyn, are you there? Yes, teacher. Excellent, Jocelyn. Uh, uh, Jocelyn, at the beginning of the class, we were talking about books. Do you like books? Do you like reading? Yes, I really like it. Okay, what books do you like to read? Um, like histories. Okay, and exactly, instead of saying, instead of using these expressions that are common, like, for example, we use the word that. I like books that are history. I like books that are mysteries. Okay. Okay. That's good. Avel, do you like going on vacation? Do you like traveling? Ebel, sorry, sorry, I, I say Abel, and it's Ebel, I apologize. Okay. Uh, yes, teacher, I like a uh, travel. Okay, and where do you like to go? Uh, Sage Mountain. Um, Campo. Yes, uh, to the country, yeah, that is country. country. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, okay. So in, in the case of Ebel, I like to visit places that are in the country, that are in the mountains. So we talk about her idea, I like. She likes what? I like places to visit. This is the main idea. But then we talk about what, what places to visit, what extra information. Okay. okay. Uh, let's have, do you feel comfortable to make them or would you like to try uh, to see if they are correct? Because in this moment, uh, we can try here and then you go into the group and you practice. But if you are not sure, please try and I help you if it's correct or not correct. Okay. Um, for example, uh, I like movies that contain action or humor. Is correct? That is correct. Exactly. Because it's not all the movies. Do you like movies? And then the specific information that contain action or adventure or, or humor. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Anybody else would like to try before you go to your groups? A teacher, yes, please. Um, because in the in the material, uh, I I I I read a different exercise, but no think think um for for example, when I say uh, I um I like to travel, for example, I like to travel that up uh, that have a beautiful place. That is that is correct. Almost correct. Almost correct, Luis. You, only you need to put a little bit more information at the beginning. I like to oh. travel. I like to travel to places. I like to travel to places and then that. I like to travel uh -huh. to places that have beaches, that, uh -huh. uh, that have museums, that okay. are new. Mm -hmm. that, okay. Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah, because uh -huh, mm -hmm. and the material say... Uh, I, I like uh, I like guys uh, who that ah yes uh -huh. let me explain the, the one more time the the reason it says who or that is because who can be used for people that's why if you are talking about guys in in my case for example Luis I like women okay what women I like women who are funny who are intelligent who are independent who are beautiful, who are, exactly. But 
this is because I am talking about people. I can use hood, but mm -hmm. the word that can be used for both people and things. That's why it says who or that. Who only can be used for people, but that can be used for the two things. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Teacher, uh, you, don't, you don't use the blackboard to play in the computer. Yes, yes, yes. This is the, only the review from yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. This was the. the uh, it's, 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 this is the, it's the, the platform. Okay. It's a platform. And, and the other teacher uh, used the blackboard on the computer to explain. Ah, no problem. No problem. I understand. Just this is only because it's the, the same review from yesterday to make sure is the, yeah. the, of what we saw from yesterday. Mm hmm. And this is what Luis is talking about. That I like guys, okay, where it says who or that. Okay, but hang on. Let me help you here. Okay, and we're going to, well, let's watch a small little video. Maybe it helps you understand a little bit more to make sure that it's clear. If you have any questions or not, or you are not sure, then you ask me. But let's watch the little video and then we'll practice to help you a little bit more. Hello everyone. In this class, you learn how to describe the kind of people you like to hang around with. For example, I like friends who aren't too serious. You'll learn how to use the relative pronouns who or that. Now, let me get started by presenting the structure. We'll do a few examples. And at the end of the class, I would like for you to practice by making your own examples. Let me talk about the first example that you see here, relative pronouns as subjects. So in essence, what we want to do in this class is we want to take two pieces of information. For example, I like guys. They aren't too serious. That's the second piece of information. And what we want to do is we want to combine these two pieces of information. And we do this by using the relative pronouns. We're either going to use who or that to combine those two pieces of information. So at the end, what the sentence is going to look like is, I like guys who aren't too serious. Or you could say, I like guys that aren't too serious. I'm going to write down those examples to make sure that we're understanding the process. The first example states, I like guys, they aren't too serious. And what we do is, if you notice in grade up here, and I actually colored that in blue in the bottom, because that's what I want to focus on. Um, here, this statement here could vary, it could change to different things, right? Like you can say, I like guys, I like friends, okay? I like people. So that could vary, you could change that to whatever you want. You can have another phrase there, like, I uh, like to hang around people, I like to be with friends, etc. That's okay. Okay. Now, sorry, I didn't play the entire video one more time um, because it's the same video that we saw yesterday or the main ideas of what we saw yesterday. And it, I just want Freeze to change. make sure that you understand what we're talking about. And um, here, what we're trying to say is that uh, the purpose of this is to take two sentences, okay? And where you have your personal opinion, uh, what you think, um, I like, I prefer, I enjoy, I, I hate, I, I, I can't stand, whatever your opinion is. And then the, the main idea, I hate books, I hate movies, I hate places, I, I, I love parties, okay? That's the idea. And then you give the specific information. What do you like about movies? What do you like about books? What do you like about parties? What do you hate about food, okay? And that's how you use it. What we're seeing here, the words that are in red, is that the word who or that can be used when we're talking about people. But we only use the word that when we're talking about things. If we use the word who, or that, it depends. Uh, we, we can sometimes use who, 
but we can always use that if that helps you. Okay. I don't know if there are any questions at this moment about how or what is the difference between who or that or how to use them. No. No? Not okay. All right. It's okay. Okay. So what we're what we're going to do with our partners, okay, we are going to try to complete a couple of things. Okay. I'm going to share my screen with you one more time so that it's a little bit clear of how we're going to do it. And then we'll try one example and then we'll go into our groups. Okay, here, this is from our platform. This is Knowledge Check 1.4. Why? Because we already saw the content relative to pronouns. This is the video that we just saw. Okay, and now we are into 1.4. Now, with our partners, we want to complete the statement, okay? I don't want to have a partner, but you don't want to complete the statement looking for the information, no. We want to complete the statement with our own ideas, with my ideas, okay? Or so, let's see, we have several people. Let's have, um, Tatiana, can you complete the sentence for number one? I see you are sleeping, so this is a good way to wake you up. Mm, I don't complete. No, no, right now, together. We are completing together. Ah, okay. okay. Mm. In the, the first. I don't want. Yes, that's correct. I don't want to have a partner. Teacher, please open, open the select an, an option. No, is not select no. the option. That is no oh. the activities you complete with your ideas. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, so don't I don't, I, I don't like people. Uh, I I don't have nothing in common with this person. Okay, okay. I so, <laughs> no problem. Thank you, Leah. Thank you. But let let me help you, Tatiana. Okay. Be who have you had have, who uh, Elaine, what did you say? Oh, uh, maybe I don't want to have a partner who have pets or cats or dogs or ah, any animal. Okay, okay, there you go. It's only idea. Exactly, it's your idea. Is what partner don't you want? I don't want, for example, I don't want a partner who doesn't listen. I or I don't want a partner who is who who uh, talk a lot or who mm -hmm. talks a lot. Maybe in the case of mm -hmm. Luis, he said no, who talks a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. so who turn on the music at the midnight? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, or, or for example, in number two, I'd I'd like to meet people. That's my the opinion. I would like. You would like what? To meet people. What kind of people? Anna, what kind of people would you like to meet? Oh, okay. So make the sentence. Intelligent, intelligent people. Intelligent people. <laughs> okay. Now remember. Ooh. Exactly, Luis. That's right. Mm -hmm. We need to use the relative okay. pronoun. It's not only oh, our that. opinion. Mm -hmm. That's the that's mm -hmm. the difference. Okay. That's, okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If we talk about people, we use who. If we talk about things, we use that. But that. we can use that for both situations. Oh, okay. That is the benefit mm -hmm. that that can be for people or it can be for things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tatiana, yeah. would you like to try one more time? It's not an obligation. You can say no, it's okay. <laughs> you want to try number two? Number two, okay. I, I would like to meet people. Um, 
uh, that um, another country. Very good. Only one word you forgot. That are that are that are from another country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, perfect. And that's it. So is not choosing the answers here. We are not going to choose from the list. Okay, the idea is for our ideas. Okay. Any questions? No questions. No questions. Okay. Perfect. That's the first thing that we're going to do. We're going to do that. Okay. After we choose all of the ones uh, from there, from the from our opinion, then we can answer the questions or the activities with our partners. Okay. So this is from 1.4 in the platform. If you don't have the, if you are on the cell phone or something, you can share with your partner or you can look at and then talk about it. It's not a problem. Remember, it's not selecting the answers, it's your opinion. Remember to complete it, not only your idea, uh, uh, you know, pepperoni pizza or, um, or other. No, I read the entire sentence. The reason that we read is to become more fluent. So we don't want to pause, okay? I'm going to help you to make sure you understand what you don't want to do. Uh, one more time. Okay, so I what you you don't want to do this. I don't want to have a partner who mm, doesn't talk. No, you want to think of your answer and then you want to be fluent. Then you want to be normal, natural. So first I think of my answer. Okay, okay. And then I say my answer. I don't want to have a partner who is uh, who doesn't talk, or I don't want to have a partner who doesn't listen. Okay, the reason is is you want to be comfortable and you want to be used to talking normally, and when you talk, you don't stop in the middle. Okay, because if not, you are going to have problems later. Maybe for some words or some phrases or something that's sometimes is not the same. I say, hey, Lucia, did you see my dick? Shinari is not the same, right? You don't want to pause incorrectly, right, Eduardo? Eduardo is going to look at me funny if I say, Eduardo, did you see my dick? Shinari? No, hey, 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 relax. No, no, no. I say, yeah, then what happened, Eduardo? The dictionary is different than if I say naturally. Ah, Evel, have you seen my dictionary? And that's why you don't pause. Because remember, those pausing, even if it's not in the word, even if it's in phrases, have a different meaning. And they give a different interpretation. So that's why we want to practice naturally. If you don't have your answer, think about it, relax, and then get natural. Any questions? Okay. Woo, all right, then I hope then that means that when we do our groups, we have a lot of time to complete all of them, give our opinions and to complete with what we want. All right, let's create our groups. Lucia, is everything okay? Do you have any questions? Okay, if you have any questions, just ask me or just uh, write to me in the chat and I'll help you when I can, okay? All right, I'm going to go into the other groups and you let me know. 
is my answer. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, Tatiana, number two. Hey, Carla, you're, I thought you were bad. I thought I was going to tell George and Tatiana that, that you have problems speaking. Okay. Is it's okay for speaking or no, Carla? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. the second. Just the second. Mm, I would like Hi, teacher. Hello. What happened, Jocelyn? Hi, teacher. Uh, I'm thinking in my answer. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. It's better. That way you practice being more fluent. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like to meet people that travel a lot. I'd like to meet people that are musicians. I like to meet people that read a book. <laughs> mm. Let me see. Um, I don't know. Uh, that's the only one that I didn't uh, okay. respond. Okay. Okay. For me, this is my 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 answer, right? But. Uh -huh. Let me check the, the number three. Three, I prefer a roommate. What is the your answer? For me, it's this person is quiet and considerate. Considerate. Uh, yeah. it's, it's the same for me, right? It, mm -hmm. it's the same. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's that the, makes sense. Okay. Number four, I don't like to be with people. My answer is I don't feel comfort comfortable around yeah. these people, right? I got the same. I'm like play basketball. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. The number three, I prefer a roommate uh, who is organized and discreet and, and good person. Okay. okay. Number. I pref oh, okay, sorry. Okay, um, I prefer a roommate who is uh, quiet mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Five, that's all. And you are <laughs> only, <laughs> only is quiet. This is the yeah. perfect roommate. <laughs> yeah. This old is more important. Yeah. It's yeah. dirty. The, the, it doesn't take a shower. Doesn't get the, it's okay. It's <laughs> quiet. It's, 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 and the second that the people play basketball. It's the second. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. My case is like Ricardo. I, uh, I prefer a quiet and considering <laughs> people because I have to work very early in the morning. And I need to sleep very well because I don't like uh, feel the day feel the day down. I don't know if you can sleeping. Uh -huh. Yeah, a sleepy, a sleepy day. I have to to rest to rest good. That's the reason because I I want to consider it people are quiet. Okay. okay. I don't like to be with people. I would like to write there, have a book where, um, where I can, where I can do the things that I'll, I, me trabe. Ah, are you hearing me? <laughs> okay, I would like to write, have a, a book where I can practice. The 
the degree that I study. Okay. I prefer to have uh, t-shirts. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have answer for that. <laughs> Not for you, teacher. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. I prefer to have teachers that explain relax, well. Teacher, relax. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't have answer. The, the, uh, maybe I prefer to have teachers that are guys, okay. not girls. I okay. think. <laughs> okay. Line point four. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. In the uh, in the in the first part, the number seven. I prefer to have teachers. These people are organized and intelligent. Similar to no. the, the teacher right now. The same, right? I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's, okay. it's, okay. it's, a, it's a little jack. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Now that you finish, remember. After you finish, now you answer with the answers from the platform to make sure you complete the exercise. Okay, thanks. Okay. 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 But in the morning, teacher, today in the morning, I uh, completed the, the exercise. Oh, excellent, Pedro. What about you, Anna? Did you complete it? No, teacher, uh, tomorrow. <laughs> in, but in, Peter, in the, but in... Pedro he helped me because she, uh, he, pardon, yes. he uh, tell the answer. Ah, yes, I was going to say because Anna, in this moment, you can complete. You are, is, is right now. Yes, because I don't have computer and I, uh, I am the with the, my phone. Uh-huh. And because uh, my mother is using my computer. Uh, Sorry, yes. but, but tomorrow is not happen that. Okay, we'll, okay. We'll no problem, no problem. I understand because it's on the cell phone is difficult to, to complete the exercises. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are right, you are right. Okay, very good. Let me... Now you can practice and create your own examples and your own ideas. Okay. Okay, you can. Uh, I, I like, I like singer, singer. Okay, I like singers. Who? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Singer. Who uh, dance very well, like Chayang. Ah, okay, there you go. Good, good. Remember, Anna, when you use it, you're going to use the plural. I like singers because you are talking about the general. I like, I like people. I like guys. No, I like a person. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Good. It's complicated. Mm, yeah. This exercise is very confusing, teacher. Uh, yes, that is why you are working in groups. <laughs> in, <laughs> To, that way you can talk and discuss and say, mm, for me is this, what do you think, George? What do you think, Tatiana? Mm -hmm. I don't like to people. I have nothing in common with this person. Okay. I don't know. I don't think so because this person and the sentence is, is people and the answer is this person. Ah, exactly. Very good, Carla. Yeah. And, and that's how you start to identify the different things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because you need to identify the grammar structures when it's singular, when it's plural, things like this. Mm -hmm. um, number one or number three? These people are. Low.
in who has the art Teacher? Yes. We have to do the other part, relative pronouns. The, you are doing the- or Just the first one. You are doing the 1.4, the relative pronouns. And then if the, um, when you finish, then you complete all of the exercises with your partner. The part where it says, rewrite the following sentences that you can do with your partner to make sure that uh, you have it correct. Um, if you want, you can do it in this moment in your platform. If you don't have access, you do now, and then later you can put into your platform. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Heidi. About the relative pronoun. Mm -hmm. um, the exercise say, I like to meet people. These people have a good sense of humor, and I Right, I great. I like to people who these people and and the compliment and uh, but okay. I'll, no. I'll check it out. The if is wrong, it's wrong, correct, because it you do not repeat again the people you already said the people. So I like to meet people who and then have a good sense of humor, for example. Okay. Okay, because remember that the idea of the relative pronoun is like when I say, I talk about Eduardo. Eduardo is a very nice guy. He, I don't have to repeat again, Eduardo. I only say he, or I use the word Eduardo is not necessary two times. So if you use the word who or that is the idea for what you are talking about. You don't have to repeat again that subject. Is that okay, Heidi? Okay. okay. And the mm -hmm. second, second I great. I don't like to be with people, with people who Correct. I have nothing. Who I have yeah. nothing. Correct. But when I check it out, it's wrong. Because you have nothing what? You need to finish. You. I don't like to be with people who I have nothing in common with. If not, if you only put I have nothing, the idea is incomplete because you have nothing. But this doesn't explain what the, the, the relationship with the people. Um, can you repeat it? I don't listen, but very good. Yes, is is only you copy the the expression. I don't like to be with people who, and then you only copy the the phrase that is there. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Here I have a question. Yes, Jocelyn. Uh, um, in that, in that exercise mm -hmm. is I don't like to be with people who I have nothing in common with okay. but why um, why I can't uh, add in common with me I have to say in common with but it's incorrect to say in common with me correct it is incorrect to say in common with me is on, because because it's not correct to use the me because you already said at the beginning I. So it's the same thing. You don't repeat two times uh, that because in the beginning you say that I don't like to uh, be with people that um, I and there is in that moment you use I already. We understand the sentence is with you. It's not necessary as, again say with me. But mm -hmm. but in another situation, okay. for example, for example, I don't begin with me. I, I begin with you. Jocelyn, can you 
go with me to the store because I begin the sentence with you. So in this situation, it's obligation to put with me. Mm -hmm. But Be if I but I'm if, talking about me, then it's not uh -huh, then it's not necessary because already you begin with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, good. Okay, guys, great. Okay, um, I know we have a few other people that are still in their group and working. Uh, are there any questions? Are there any exercises or any numbers that were a little confusing or you're not sure about or you couldn't complete? No? Alain, it's okay? It's yeah, okay. It's only okay for me. The, okay, the same for Pedro. All right. Anybody else? Only Any? I have a question. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Go ahead, Luis. Yeah, in, in, in a statement, uh, we have a statement that finish with... with. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 I can explain, that, no problem. That I that, had uh, that grammatical, uh, I, I don't know why f I know uh, when well finish with with or with for. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. With, okay, it, your question is different than Anna's question. Okay. Uh, first, let me explain the part, the difference between with and for. We use with to include something. We use for as a reason, okay? So uh, I say, Eduardo, why do you study English? Normally, when we learn or when we begin to speak English, we learn the word because. Because I want a better job. Because I have. But we use when you advance in your grammar you learn that the word because is one of many words that you can use. And here's where you use the word for. I learn English for better opportunities. I learn English for, uh, uh, for more money or for a uh, higher raise. You explain why you do something. That is the for. The with is the person or the thing that accompanies you. Okay, that's why you use with. That's how you're going to know the difference. In another question that, uh, that was asked is why with and not with me? Here, the reason that we finish with is because at the beginning or at the beginning of this statement, we use the word I, okay? It says, I don't like to be, peop I don't like to be with people that I have nothing in common with. It's not necessary to say with me, because I already begin the sentence, I, okay? But if I say, I focus on the person, hey, Ricardo, do you want to go a drink? Do you want to get a drink with? With me, because I don't begin the sentence with I. I begin with Ricardo. So when you begin with I, it's not necessary with me because we already understand. But when you begin with the other person, Ricardo, Lea, Carla, the other person, then yes, because you need to say with who. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah. Any no, other question? You. You're thank welcome, you. Luis. You're welcome, Luis. It's good. Mm -hmm. Good question. Anybody else? Okay. Great. So did everybody complete or did anybody have any problems in the last, the last part I know was the writing. So I know some of you, because of the speaking, you got into it and then you didn't finish. I don't know if you, all of you finished the writing. Yeah. Okay. All right. You know, I, I like, I like these things because here in the in the chat, you can put on all of the 
the little symbols like, hey, 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 celebration, everybody, great job. Or, oh man, I, I, I love you guys. You guys are always so participative. Everybody's always speaking. Nobody's quiet. I love it. And you know, things like that. You can use them also if you have a question or if everything is okay. Hey, there you go, Anna. Now you have the idea. That's right. Things like that. Okay. Well, the next part is we are still talking. Um, we are changing topics from the relative pronouns, but we are still on the topic of people and we're still describing people. Um, so in this moment, I want you to think about it, okay? What words do we use to describe people? Not physically, not the physical appearance, the personality of the people. How can we describe the different personalities? And for this, I'm going to share my screen because we also have a few words that are here that maybe you can see, okay? Um, I'll, I'll play them and there we'll have. I, I will take a picture and put them into the WhatsApp group for those of you that um, would like to see them later or are not sure. I almost forgot to do that with the other exercises, but I'll put them right now as well, okay? So here are some words that we use to describe people, okay? Besides these words, what other words do you use to describe people? Remember, not physically, but their personality. A person quiet. Ah, okay, quiet. Mm -hmm. Intelligent. Intelligent, okay, okay. Organized. Organized, organized. okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Disorganized. Of course, also there's organized, <laughs> disorganized, uh-huh. Serious. Serious, okay. Shy. Oh, nice, a shy. Modest. Modest. Nice. Those are the ones from there. Mm -hmm. What is the opposite of nice? What was it? What's the opposite of nice? Nice. And nice. Mm, not nah. No, we use the opposite of Abby. nice. Opposite no. Nice. No. Is uh, you use the word mean? Me, a bad person. Bad person. That's right. That would be the opposite of good is bad. The opposite of nice is mean. Now, someone said the word shy. What is the opposite of shy? Extroverted. Oh, exactly. Very good. Extroverted, outgoing. Maybe I think somebody was going to say the word outgoing. Okay. Now, here we have a few words. We have nine different words. We have the word easygoing, okay? It, an easygoing person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. What do you think would be the opposite of easygoing? Equilibrate. Um, the word doesn't... Because it's, it's, it's like... Uh... I forgot the word. It's okay, Anna. Thank you. Thank you. Bipolar, bipolar. Easy going uh -huh. is like bipolar. <laughs> no, no, no. Easy going is not like 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 bipolar. No. Easy going is the person who Passion. maybe is not. Um, it controls their emotions. They they Ooh. are they Ooh. are they are more in control of the emotions. Drama queen. No, no, no. The, 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 <laughs> ah, yes, exactly. Exactly. Humor. That's it's right. A person with good the, humor. Yeah, a person so with good humor. Passion. So the opposite, the opposite of easygoing, exactly, what would be drama queen. That is the opposite. The opposite of easygoing. Mm -hmm. What about egotistical? Look at that. Read it. What is the opposite of egotistical? Modest. Modest. Ah, nice. Nice. Modest. Okay, what is the opposite of inflexible? Flexible. Flexible. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And that's why it's important when you are reading to understand the prefix. When do you use in? When do you use re? When do you use pre? Because it's very easy to expand the vocabulary only with the prefix. 
Okay. What about for modest? What is the opposite of modest? Egotistical. Okay, it could be like, yes, egocentric, egotistical, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. What about for sociable? We, we, I heard someone say it before. What's the opposite of sociable? Unsociable. Uh, social. Unsociable. Yes. Why? Shy, quiet, unsociable. I'm sociable. Mm -hmm. Introvert. That's right. Introvert. What about for the word stingy? What could be the opposite of stingy? Benevolent. Benevolent. Wow. Very nice. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Another is very common is the word giving. The person, they give. They're not a problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about for supportive? What would be the opposite of supportive? There, Selfness. Self. Self selfish. That's selfish. selfish. That's right. Selfish. Supportive. The opposite would be selfish. Or remember the words that we say. The prefix. The prefix that helps us is un. Unsupportive. And that is the opposite. Mm -hmm. Support. What about for temperamental? Hmm, this is what you were saying. Some, somebody said temperamental. Somebody said uh, bipolar. This is the idea. This is the temperamental, bipolar. Mm -hmm. But what is the opposite? Passion. That's right. That's, right. that's right. Oh, that's good. But the word is balanced. Mm -hmm. The word balanced. would be balanced. Yeah. Very good. And what about for the last one? Unreliable. Reliable. Exactly. That would be reliable. Yeah, very easy. Now, that's very easy. Very easy. That is very, very easy. That's very easy. That's very easy. Yeah, reliable, unreliable. Of course, reliable. there are other words. There are other synonyms and other words that we can Passivity. use. Passivity. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But those are the main ideas that we want. Okay. So today, what we're going to wrap up with, um, because we are almost time, well, it is time for us to finish. Um, we want to make sure that we understand relative pronouns we use for uh, giving more information about a main topic. So I like clothes, I like dresses, I don't like. You talk about it, you give your opinion in general terms, and then you give the specific information about those, okay? Remember, we use who only for people, and we use that for people or things. Okay? Okay. Did you have any questions before we go? Okay. Are there anything that you'd like to know? Or anything that wasn't clear from today's class? It's okay, teacher. Everything it's okay. is okay. Teacher. Okay. Well, then tomorrow okay. we continue using the new vocabulary that we saw today. Okay. 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 All right, Thank guys. You so much, Thank you, guys. Bye. Nice to meet you. Nice Bye. to see you guys. Bye. 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 Nice to meet you. Have Bye. a nice Bye. night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.